previously on Resident Evil Revelations. Hold it right there. She's trying to activate the ship's self-destruct mechanism to destroy the evidence. Self-destruct sequence initiated. All it appears my bright young assistant has made the last move. Now, have I made things clear to you? Jessica! I'm sorry, Parker. See you guys. Revelations. Hey, it's the thing. They did the thing. This is Hatrick. Do you read? Extraction is not possible at this time. I'll execute a holding pattern. Patrick out. What have they created? We can do this, Chris. No, with handguns, I don't think you can. God, these controls. More health over here. I off some ammo for you. Thank you, I really need it. Fire chill. to go. Shit. Why do you keep switching back? Oh god. No, I dropped my shotgun. Fuck. Thank you. Stop looking at the thing. Fuck. What's the other one? Fuck's sake. Can you drop some health? Because I seriously need it. Is it over? Oh. Incredible. Both of you. I'll drop down a ladder. Come on up. Did I win? Oh, good, I won. <laughs> Get on board quickly. Well, that's one way to detach the ladder. I'll get us out of here. No, not yet. We 
can't let this thing roam free. Agreed. Oh, goody. Ready, Chris? Well, I'm sure he's ready. I'm hitting it just fine from here. Okay, fine. Trying. Yes. Whoa! Bloody thing. Open your mouth. I've got a present for you. Have you seen it? What what's going on now? No, I doubt it. The fuck is that? What's it doing? Stay dead, please. And that's all she wrote for the Zenobia. It's me. What's happening? On our way out. We lost Parker. Jessica took the whole ship down. The FBC? Well, Morgan. He was one step ahead of us the whole way. Yeah, I see. I hate to think this could all be a mistake. My mistake. Come clean with us, O'Brien. Don't leave anything out. All right. It all started one year ago. Right there, Terra Grecia. There 
Hey, I've got my S, my double S, no deaths. I'm not sure how I got S for accuracy, but I'll take it. As always, manual save because I'm paranoid. Hey, I come from a generation of gaming where saving wasn't an option. We didn't have that luxury back in the day. So this is before we let we uh, escaped Terra Grigia. Um, in you get traitor, traitor. Look at that smug smile. Yeah, the boss has pushed for an expansion of the FPC's purview. This is just the kind of thing he was warning the world about. And this incident will bring the crisis to the limelight. It could be good PR, really. Yeah. Maybe the international community will finally get the message. FBC has a lot of growing to do. Where's he? Where are you putting that knife? Damn these things. That sounds like the Raymond. Damn it. I think that's the last of them. For now at least. It's okay, I'll be fine. <sighs> You're hurt bad. Don't try to act tough. Alright, somebody lend him a shoulder. Parker. HQ has told you to leave. But I can still fight. <sighs> You're not convincing me. Come on, grab on. <laughs> Billions out there. We have to do something. Heavily outnumbered. We have to regroup. Right. Let's pick up. How did they pull this off? As much as I can. A dozen men. Who armed them? The POWs. <laughs> These terrorists must be brought to justice. Daily Courier Article 1, London Daily Courier. A beast slouches toward Europe to be born, and that beast is the Federal Bioterrorism Bio Commission. What is unique about this beast is that the Federal Species Protective Committee that gave birth to it was no beast itself, and was intended to assist the US in its counter-bioterrorism efforts. Unfortunately, Europe has become the home to a tragedy that has roused the beast. The FBC has taken complete control of the biohazard outbreak in Terra Grigia and has in effect barred the participation of other countries. Terra Grigia is an aqua, aquapolis aqua, oof, whatever, that was developed jointly by US and European teams to research and develop alternative energy sources. The impetus behind the city's development was twofold. The Europeans wanted to halt climate change and the Americans hoped to develop energy sources for Africa. To that end, the city was placed strategically in the Mediterranean Sea. Terra Grigia has enjoyed 
cooperative administration by both sides and has been held up as a model of successful US-European cooperation. The terrorist, the terrorist attack in Terra has put the kibosh on that. According to conditions stipulated in the treaty outlining Terra Grecia's governance, both the US and Europe have equal authority during a terrorist attack. Only during the event of bioterrorism does the FBC assume a leadership role. The FBC was formed with the express purpose of dealing with threats posed by bioterrorism. They have a crack squad of soldiers on permanent standby and by that measure they have the most expansive charter of any organisation in Europe. During a time of crisis, they have the blessing of the US to take charge and control of the situation. And that is how the FBC came to be in charge of the current chaos in Terra Grecia. FBC Commissioner Morgan Lansdowne has announced that EU involvement will not be tolerated while his organisation deals with the crisis. European authorities pressed Lansdowne to respect their rights in this matter and they were able to convince him to bring in Commander Clive R. O'Brien of the BSAA, a well-respected international civilian group. The problem, however, is even though O'Brien himself is a bioterrorism expert, he is working with virtually no support staff, which limits the, sc limits the scope and of actions he can take. While the story on the tragedy is still unfolding, it would seem that the FBC is ignorant of the extent of the suffering in Terra Grecia. But the Lansdale has the ability and the intelligence to handle this attack without becoming uh, a yeet seen beast also remains to be seen. He doesn't want anyone involved because he's trying to cover his tracks. Okay, nothing else in here. Hear more hunters. You're too young to play hero. Earn some stripes before you get yourself killed. <laughs> I wish all hunters were this susceptible to handgun bullets. Instead of being impervious to shotgun shells. Right, stop your moaning. leaving him in one of the offices would be better. Just saying. I'm not going that way. Now I've got some ammo for my little machine gun. FBC's charter. Have we read this before? Yes, we've read that one before. So we can we can ignore that one. Right, got some more equipment. Oh, so we need to go back the way we came, all the way back the way we came. Is 
So Parker, it's nothing new, but aren't you a little hard on the new guy? You mean Raymond? The only way those guys will grow up is with a little towel set. <sighs> okay, fine. Guys and your little games. Ah, here we go, this way. Oh, good. These things are on patrol again. Daily Career Article 2. Who, com who commands the general? Is he just a shadowy figure manipulating events from offstage, or is he a hero leading the charge against bioterrorism? Anyone who has heard General Morgan Lansdale give a speech will be immediately struck by his intelligence and keen insight. That charisma that charms his audiences served him well in the cloak and dagger world of international espionage he occupied for many years. He was able to charm Congress into expanding the charter of his group to find and deal with bioterrorist threats, which begins us to today, which brings us to today. Lansdale not only commands the F FBC, but also the Federal Species Protection Committee. He refuses to give, give up either of these posts. Lansdale created the FBC to handle bioterrorism. The organization is a major player in the international stage of public safety and animal welfare. And that is all thanks to Lansdale. But the question remains, is he a hero or a monster? Only time will tell. Good. Go get. That's the trick. Should have realised sooner. Headshots are effective. Yes! Give me all of the good stuff. Picked up a tourniquet. There we are. Just what I need. This should do for the meantime. Alright, let's get back to Raymond. Oop. Another hand grenade, that would be useful. Sure, which way he was coming from. Grenades are definitely useful. Going the wrong way. Yep, this way. 
We'll get you eventually, Raymond. I order you to stay alive. <laughs> Fucking things. I need a shotgun for the hunters, not this damn pea shooter. I would very much appreciate a shotgun at this stage. Go on, everyone. Something is off. What now? Think about it. The delivery and dispatchment of these POWs. It's too professional. And how did they manage to evade the FBC's vast intelligence network? It just doesn't add up. Unless somebody wanted this to happen. Cadet, you're stepping out of bounds. We're not here to investigate this thing. We're here to resolve it. It's... But it turns out he was right. Nice try, sucker. For the love of God, there's hunters everywhere. The command room's close by. Just keep our cadet alive. I know you're hurt, but try to keep up, cadet. Hunters. Let's get more ammo. Running low. Don't like being low on ammo. Alright, good. So 
up this way. No. But it was worth getting going up there anyway. Alright, I'm fully loaded. I think we're good. That should be the last of the hunters. I would hope so. Let's hit the command room. Yep, let's go. Yes, I understand. I can hear you just fine. That is simply splendid news. Everything is in perfect order. Enjoy the rest of the celebration on the Queen Dido. Morgan, you intended for the virus to break out on our ship? Well, we've certainly been had. I'm not done yet. You still have an important purpose. The ship serves as a controlled environment, and the data on your mutation will serve a venerable purpose. Boldness of your self-absorbed ambitions is impressive. I am always disgusted by what you Americans can dream up. I will take that as a compliment. We knew that you could end up being a liability. So we've kept video records of all of our interactions. If they go public, your life is finished. You may do as you please. Use of the satellite has been approved. The new virus will be completely eradicated. You bastard! And here we are, back here. Full soon shall thou be where thine eye shall answer make to thee of this, seeing the cause which raineth down the blast. What? <laughs> Well, I'm trying to lose weight, so thanks for that word salad. Oh, Parker! You still alive? Or could you? Jessica has escaped. We were so close. Hey, I'm sorry, Lee. You were right. All along. Thank God somebody was on top of things. Don't be so hard on yourself, Parker. Now it's my turn to save you. Come on, we're getting out of here. Yay! <laughs> That's the spirit, Cadet. <laughs> Or is this before Parker falls to his demise? Raymond realized that Morgan was not who he seemed, so we set this trap together. The whole Veltro Revival Act. The mountain hideout, the coordination of the ships, all to put heat on Morgan. But sir, couldn't you have at least told us? I couldn't risk it. Not with a mole inside the BSAA. My apologies. All that work, in both the Zenobia and the Samiramis. Yeah, I know. But I haven't given up yet. Keith and Quinn, they've left us with an ace in the hole. The data analysis they sent us, the results are in. Well, what were they? 
we assume Veltro made use of two sister ships in the Terra Grigia panic. But there was a third. Final Queen. Ooh. We actually need to confirm that uh, Quint and Keith are definitely dead. Not surprising. Wouldn't... There's no way they could have escaped that. Oh, god damn it, my accuracy. But anyway, that brings that chapter to a close. So I'm going to bring this episode to a close. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later, this has been Resident Evil Revelations, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.